All right, fam, so we are back. That really just hurt it, okay? I slapped my hand, but it hit my ring. That just hurt. Anyways, we are back at it again with another crazy video. Now, in today's video, we got my boy again, Nicholas Bowling. Bow Bowling. I don't know how to say his last name, man, but shout out to him. Uh, this is one of his videos that was posted two days ago, the best street preaching moments of 2023, which I already know that this video right here is an hour of straight blasphemy towards God, okay? So we've been seeing some of these crazy clips. I'm not gonna watch the full hour video. If you wanna watch the full hour video, it's in the link description box below. Without further ado, dang, I have not been leading the videos in the link description box below in the last two videos. That's crazy. Anyways, without further ado, man, let's get it. Let's go. Oh, 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 I love these people too much. No, you don't. don't. If you God love loves you, so shut much. the fuck up. If you loved us, God you would shut them. the fuck up. If you loved us, you would shut the fuck up. The reason Jesus is the only way is because he was the only one who was spotless, the only one who was blameless, the only one who deserved eternal life who deserve to know the Father and be with Him for all of eternity. It's cool running into that guy. I'm glad you said something. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing good. Do you believe in Jesus? Um, no. Not really? Yeah. No, I grew up really religious though. Okay. And what, what kind of religion? Christian. Christianity? Yeah. yeah. Why do you feel like you turned away from it? Um, uh, like, I don't know. My parents were like really homophobic. Oh, yeah. But, like, I'm trans, so I'm, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, where he takes the punishment of our sin, and then he'll give us the everlasting life that he earned because he was perfect. He'll give that to us as a gift. We don't have to earn it. We don't have to deserve it. We don't have to try to pay for it. We don't have to do. We don't have to do any of that stuff. Everything was created by gravity. Love thy neighbor, if that's what you preach, love thy neighbor. You, if God created all, and that's what you believe in, then He created all this, and this is love. This is not discrimination. This is my my son. My son is transgender, and I love him. I love him, and I have a little boy who does believe in God. And I, as a parent, I support my children no matter what. They're not harming anybody. They're not harming themselves. If you're a godly person, then you would know that you're to love all and accept all. Yeah, and that, that's why I'm here. I'm here to love. I'm here to love you and love her. That's what I'm here for. No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. If sin, if sin, excuse me. No, you are touching You can't. I'm trying to walk. You are touching me. I'm trying to walk. If, so listen, if, please, I'm walking. Excuse me. So, listen, if if the Bible says that sin, if the, hey, hey you, you can't touch me. You can't touch me. Yeah, you are. You're pushing me. You're pushing me. Okay, you're starting to bump me and push me a little bit. You can't do that. If the Bible says, and if God said that sin leads to death, then it's really loving of someone to come out. It's really loving for someone to come out and and tell you the truth that hey sin actually leads to death there's no hate coming out of my life my mouth right now it's actually truth and love it's not antagonistic it's i'm telling people i'm telling yeah yeah i'm telling them how they can be saved I'm telling them how they can we come to know have, God. We have religious I'm telling them here that we have asked to be here because they are supportive, unlike what you wonderful folks are doing, which is actively being detrimental to the community. You're not helping anyone. I hope you know that. If there, you know that you're not if there are religious people here that are condoning a sin that's going to send someone to hell, then they're not representing God and they're not true Christians. Do you listen to Striper? You're a fake Christian if you don't listen to Striper. I don't know. You're a fucking fake Christian if you don't listen to Striper. Let me ask you one You know In Exodus 21, it says flat out you can beat your slave, and as long as he don't die, you're good. That's what it says in Exodus 27. In Exodus 27, it actually breaks down who can be a slave and how long you can own them. 
Hey, so listen, you're Jack, a real you Christian. You, you, you Name don't three understand. Striper songs. Name three songs Dude, by Striper. Striper then is. you're not a Christian. Take your hands Name off, three please. songs by Striper. I don't know who that you're is. not a Christian. You you're not a Christian. You can't debate Name me. three songs by Striper. Don't touch my stuff. Name them. Don't touch my stuff. Three songs by Striper. You're not a Christian if you can't name three songs by Striper. Dude, who is Striper? To hell with the devil. Who's Striper? They're the Christian metal band. You don't know any songs by Striper. You're not a Christian. You're not a Christian. Get off property. You're not a Christian if you don't know Striper. We have an Hey, look at me right now. You gotta go. We have an event permit. You are not permitted on site. If you don't know Striper, you gotta go. You guys need to pack it up and get off site. Okay, can, can, can you show me proof of that? An event Striper. permit? Yes, Do you see how the streets no, no, no. shut down right yeah, now? Yeah, you're, Dude, you're, shut you're the fuck up. Permit show means me proof that I can't of your God actually doing something. I don't give a fuck. Get it off the property. This is what God did. God sent Jesus to come down property. to the earth. Get it off the property. And Jesus took the punishment. Don't get it off the property. Go with your little God loves fucking you, stupid. You gotta God listen to Striper, dude. So you're not Jesus a loves each and every one no, of you guys. No, no, you don't know, bro. He, I'm sorry. He's making, he's making me righteously mad. <laughs> like, <laughs> fam, get out the mic talking about Striper. Who in the world is Striper? And I don't need to be a Christian to know who Striper is. Who is Striper? I just try to look up a Striper and. I, I, I just I just looked it up. Strike I, I looked up striper song. Actually, I looked up stripper songs. My bad, y'all. I look, man. He was distracting me. I was trying to find striper <laughs> striper songs. Okay, I think this yeah. The, okay, who is striper? I'm just trying to figure it out. Who is striper? <laughs> like, who is? I don't know, man. This, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm gonna get my thoughts at the end of the video. This that was just. I had to say that. Striper, you're I'm not, not here to preach hate. Jesus didn't come to condemn the world, but Jesus poser. came to save oh my God, them that were lost. All you're doing is That's the reason the that Jesus came. What inspired you to uh, to wear the mask? Oh, well, I'm an anti-protester. An anti-protester? Yeah, normally we have a bunch of Christians up here screaming at us, and so when they tell everyone they're going to hell, Jorge has always put the ones he loves first. But when it comes to caring for his teeth... To hell with Judgy Christians. Okay, got you. Why Satan? Because it makes fake Christians freak out. Oh, got you. Fake Christians freak out. Got you. The people that are really interested in judging other people, it upsets them. Got you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because are they you? like to tell everyone they're going to hell when, in fact, you know. Yeah. Whatever. So like fake, fake Christians. So you, you know, you, like somebody who would come to a pride you, event and then try to push their bullshit on everybody else, kind of like you're doing and your cameraman. Yeah. It's that kind of shit. Well, it, yeah. It, I don't know. It, what, what about real Christians though? <laughs> I haven't met one of you in many, many, many years. Yeah, but you met them before. <laughs> I've met a few. What, 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 what was the difference, you think, between well, real Christians so one, and a fake Christian? They didn't walk around Christian. telling everybody they were Christian. They just acted Christ-like and then left everybody to hell alone. And instead of preaching, they actually helped people do things. Instead of telling everyone what you're doing wrong, they went out and encouraged people to do what's right. So, you know, there's a lot of people who just love to walk around and tell everybody else that they're holier than thou. Yeah, I'm sure you can pick it up. I hope his microphone can do that, or maybe your microphone's got it with the video. But the reality is, if you have to come out to tell other people how they're doing, you have the issue, not us. Yeah. Do, do, do you believe in, in Jesus? Yeah. Sure. Having a good interview. We're just going to interrupt for just a minute. Yeah, please do. Great. That's great. Hey, listen, God loves you guys, and Jesus like, came. Yeah, you want, you want to get out Jesus get came so you can turn away. So you can turn away from, from sin and things that will lead you to death. And Jesus will actually save you Jesus if you'll turn to him. And you won't, it's a bunch you won't of have to pay the punishment of sins. Get the but you can actually have brain. eternal life. Fuck you you fuck can have you. eternal I'm life. You can gay. come to God. You're probably a closeted gay. You can you come. Kiss me? You can come to God. No, thank come you. Come on, kiss me. You can come to God. Come on, kiss me. He loves you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he does. He's real. You. Jesus is coming real soon. If you'll turn to Him, if you'll turn to Him and put your trust, if you'll put your trust in Jesus, then the punishment will be taken and you'll receive eternal life and it'll help you.
He'll set you free from a lot of the stuff you're dealing with too. Yeah, the anxiety, the depression, all that stuff. He can heal you. He loves you. God loves you. God loves you. God doesn't love you. God doesn't love you. He doesn't love me? Why not? Because you're here in other people's face, making other people feel bad about themselves. So, and you're really here for you. No, it's about Jesus. Hey, Nicholas a troll, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he is a he is a freaking troll, bro. I swear. It's about souls. Okay. What, because you you, you have it, an eternal. What is important about Jesus? You have an eternal soul. What does Jesus soul. want you to do here? What does what Jesus want you to do? What does he Jesus, wants the message of salvation. I want the mic. Let me hear what does Jesus want you to do here. Earlier you didn't want the mic, so it's confusing. No, I want what the mic now. Okay. Does it matter when I want it or when I don't? Because when I want it, I want it. And when I don't, I don't. Well, well I'm gonna it stick it in your face because I want to honor you. Okay, then let me speak on it, and that's honoring me. Not ask me why I didn't want it earlier. Does that make sense to you? Does that make sense to you? Yeah, you got a question? No, I'm, yeah, I'm asking you, does that make sense to you? That's my question. Your intentions aren't good, though. My intentions up, are good because I want to know why you think it's important for you to be here. I want to know why you think it's important for you to be here. Jesus knew the intentions. What does Jesus want you to do here? What does Jesus want you to do here? Tell you that he loves you and he died for you. I get that he loves me. And if you turn away from your sins, he'll take you back. I get that he loves me. But you don't need to be here to tell me that. He loves you and he died for you. I get that he loves me. But you don't need to be here to tell me that. He loves you and he died for you. I get that he loves me. But you don't need to be here to tell me that. He loves you and he died for you. I get that he loves me. But you don't need to be here to tell me that. He loves you and he died for you. I get that he loves me. But you don't need to be here to tell me that. He loves you and he died for you. I get that he loves me. But you don't need to be here to tell me that. He loves you and he died for you. That's the main focus is for you to know the truth. Okay, well, we all know everybody. Jesus loves you. It takes five seconds to say it. Yeah. So, do you have anything else to say? A lot. Anything? Yeah, okay, yeah. Say it. I got say it. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say it. Go ahead. Say it. Say it. Say it. Yep. Okay. Say it. So, Jesus. Yes. Don't say it for the he views. Loves don't each say it for the person. views. Wait, don't say what? Don't say anything for the views. Turn it's your about, fucking camera about Why your camera on. You're really here for that. You're not here for Jesus. You're I'm here for, for Jesus. views and money. This is about then Jesus. Turn the camera off. Why did people then record? Then turn the camera off. Why did people record? You're not record? here for Jesus. You're here because you, you want something? views. You got a question? From Republicans. You want everyone to know. So, my question is why do you need the camera on? Why do you need the camera on? That's my question. Okay, I'll answer it. Will you yes, let sir. me answer it? You have a microphone, go ahead and answer it. Okay, can we I stand can at a you normal a distance from each other? You can stand yeah, at a distance. Yeah, but I don't want to record my face, so. Well, so. Nobody exactly. What, what, the nobody question knows. was. The question was, why do you need a microphone? Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's why do I need the camera? Oh, see, so yeah. you do know the question. Well, you reminded you know the me. Question. You reminded me. Okay, so yeah, answer the question. Jesus, if you look at the scriptures, it's all recording uh -huh. what Jesus did, his life. Even after what Jesus what died. What do you do? What do you do? I don't know. I, I don't you. know anything about Jesus. Tell me yeah. what Jesus did. So Jesus, uh -huh. he came down. He was born of a virgin named Mary, conceived of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And he was raised up. He's not an infant into childhood. And the Bible says that he was tempted in every way. Okay. So in the what devil. Ways? In what ways is every way? What ways is every way? Every single sin you can I imagine. Need a, I need a solid example of what ways he was tempted. He was tempted to commit suicide. He was tempted, tempted to, to bow down to and commit suicide. He was tempted to commit suicide. Why? Because Satan told him, hey, why don't you jump off this mountain? Why did, why did Satan tell him to commit suicide? Because Satan's evil and wicked. Do you have any and critical, he hates people. Okay, do you have any critical thinking skills? Because that's not a good reason, I don't think. What do you mean? So Satan hates people, and he wanted Jesus to jump off okay, the mountain. Okay, whatever. Okay, 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 whatever. What can I do to form my argument to actually reach the people that I want to go? Yeah, I, I appreciate what you're saying, but Jesus came, and he brought a message he brought a message from God, so it's it's not so much just persuasive. Can I say something? That's yeah, he was. hundred percent. That's why two thousand years later we still have Christ. But two thousand years later we will not have you. I'll be in heaven with him. So so listen, Jesus Jesus preached and people tried to throw him off of a mountain. So if it's just about persuasive arguments and Jesus was the best speaker ever, it falls under the category of lust, which can... Okay, I'm going to stop it right there because the video, bro, we, we watched 16 minutes of the video, okay? And I'm going I'm to give my thoughts on this video. I may have to do, I know I got to do a part two still to the other video and I, and I might do a part two to this video, but uh, because there's so many things that this man done did in 2023... Uh, going out and preaching the word of God in so many different ways and forms, bro. And shout out to Nicholas for being bold, standing up and standing up for the word of God because I'm not going to lie, a lot of us, personally, me, I don't know 
how I can handle everybody yelling and screaming and throwing stuff and just being so disrespectful. Like, look, God's still working on my heart. I ain't gonna lie. You feel me? God's still working on my heart. I, I'm still, I'm still going through the sanctification process. Okay, I'm not full on just going to sit there and let people just throw stuff and all like look god's still working on me you know what i'm saying that's probably why he haven't called me to go out and preach the word like this okay uh <laughs> probably because i preach it behind the camera but anyways <laughs> now all just aside though um all just aside though first off i wrote down two things two points that i wanted to mention in this video when the lady she was like uh she, no the man who was dressing as the devil first of all that was very demonic that was very scary uh sir you should not be dressing as no devil okay it's other ways you can dress okay i don't know why you have a devil mask on the devil does not love you he hates you okay uh but never met uh he never met a real christian and the the crazy thing about it is because i understand what he meant by that okay because it's so many people out here that are false christians okay it's so many people out here that are christian and homophobic I look at it like this. A homophobic is a person who is literally, who literally hates the LGBT. They literally hates them. Okay. That is what a homophobic is. It's a person who, and a person who, who don't support you and don't love you. I feel like that is what a homophobic is towards the LGBT community. At least to me, that's what I feel like. Now me, people don't call me homophobic and all these different things because I may, I always said this in all my videos. I may not support what you do, but I will always love you. And I will always treat you just as a regular person. I will never treat you less than a person. And, bro, it was kind of disrespectful for those two men to be kissing. And it's just like, bro, why? <laughs> why? I see that people are bringing their kids to these parades and people are doing all these different things. And this the, the woman said that her her son is a, is a trans or... It's just a lot of nonsense, bro. A lot of people blaspheming God. A lot of people saying F God and F Jesus and all these different things. And all I can say is that these people are truly lost. They don't know what God can truly do for them. They don't know the, the works of Jesus. And bro, when I tell you that Jesus done took me out of certain things that I was never supposed to get, like never supposed to make it through. For example, I always say my testimony that I was an LGBTQ and the fact that Jesus literally died on the cross for my sins. And the fact that once I gave my life to Christ, I was able to have the strength that he had when he got up on that cross and died for all our sins. That same strength that he had, that same spirit that lied in him, is the same spirit that lies in me that, give, that gave me the strength to be able to overcome homosexuality, gave me the strength to overcome pornography, gave me the strength to overcome lying, gave me the strength to overcome uh, stealing, gave me the strength to overcome all these things that I was dealing with. And that's not to say that I'm super perfect because I'm not. I'm not holy and now. Like, I'm not at all. I still have sins that I struggle with in my life. And I'm not here to condemn somebody because of the way that they're living. But I'm here to tell you and preach the truth. Me condemning you is me breaking you down. Me like literally coming at you and saying, you going to hell, you going to hell. Like that's me condemning you because it's like, no, I'm not here to condemn you. I'm here to really preach the gospel to you, but not to preach it in the way that you want to hear it. I'm here to preach the truth because the gospel is the, it, it is the most offensive thing that you will ever read because we all live in sin. So the moment I read the word of God, the moment I read what Jesus wrote, the moment I read what God wrote, it's the moment I feel like, dang, bro, like, <sighs> Like, man, I feel I feel offended because it's like, bro, I've been living this wicked lifestyle and this is the lifestyle that opposes to him. So it's like, bro, what the world? You want me to preach the gospel in a way that's going to satisfy your satisfy your sins, that's going to be pleasing to your sins. So if I say, hey, you shouldn't do these type of things, you don't want me to say that. You want me to support you and love you. But look, I don't have to support you, but I would definitely love you. It's like God. He loves the person, but he hates the sin. He hates sin. But he loved everybody. Even though we all sin, he just hates the fact that we are sinning. But he loves everybody. And he continues to give us chance after chance after chance to repent, to redeem myself, to uh, to say, Lord, forgive me, to come into repentance and come to him. He's given us chance after chance. That's the reason why his son has not come back. His son has not come back just yet because he's continuing to give everybody chance after chance to repent of their sins. And then the last point that I uh, that he said, what, what, what somebody said in this video, was what do Jesus want you to do here? It was the lady in the last clip. She said, what do Jesus want you to do here? What Jesus want me to do here is to preach his word, to preach his word to all people, to make disciples of all nations, to go out and preach his gospel. That's what Jesus want me to do here. That is why I'm here. I'm here to show you and tell you... <coughs> 
how Jesus loves you. Hey, I'm not here to comfort your sins. I'm here to truly preach the word of God. I'm here to preach the good news of Jesus Christ. That is why I'm here. That is that is my point of being here on this earth is to preach the good news of Jesus Christ is to let people know that he died on the cross for their sins, to let people know that he loves you. He loves you and you don't need to live this type of way. You don't need to live this lifestyle. Okay, you live in this lifestyle because of childhood trauma. Or you may be, yeah, that's merely what some of these lifestyles come from is from childhood trauma. Okay, childhood trauma. And people don't want to believe it, but it's the truth. But anyways, man, I'm finna go ahead and hop off this video because the boy camera finna down. I'm finna do a part two to this video. I love each and every one of y'all, man. Y'all be blessed. Stay blessed. God bless. Peace.